uh, what is the parliament? What is a parliament in a country? The parliament represents the interest of the people and ensures that those interests are taken into, into account by government. Government is unable to pass laws or raise taxes without the agreement of parliament. You understand that? Government is unable to pass laws or raise taxes without the agreement of the parliament. The only thing that is so odd in Barbados is that the entire parliament makes up the government. Do you understand that? The entire parliament. So we have 30 members of one party in the parliament. Yes? Parliament represents the interests of the people and ensures that those interests are taken into account by the government. When, the, when they are one and the same, what do we do? Then that's when the people rise up. The people rise up and the people begin to defend their rights and their democracy. And that is what is happening on this Sunday, 5 o'clock, Baxter's Road and Westbury Road, Westburn Mall. That's where we're going to be because we are standing up for our rights, our democracy in this country. The government administers government policy, the legislative agenda, taxes, how best to deliver public services and which services and activities funding should be allocated to. That's what the government does. This could include, for example, services and funding for health, education, police, and courts. But remember, though, that all of those laws and all of those leg that legislature, everything, um, all the laws and the raising of taxes and everything happens in the parliament. You understand? So I want you to understand when we say roadside parliament, what it is that we are saying. We are saying that we are going to be representing the interests of the people of Barbados and ensure, ensuring that those interests are taken into account by the government of Barbados. That is what is happening. That is what we're about. That is what we are committed to. Yes? The par parliament works on behalf of the people of Barbados to ensure through questions and requests for information that ministers are answerable for the actions taken by the department or agency under his or her authority. That is what parliament does. When was the last time you heard a happening in parliament? When was the last time you heard Questions and requests were being made made from by from ministers and 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 they are being answerable for their actions. When was the last time in the last five years that you heard that happen in Parliament? That is the Barbados we have come to know. The Parliament works on behalf of the people of Barbados to ensure government works and is running efficiently by reviewing new proposals and checking government expenditure and the effect of new laws when was the last time that happened in barbados when was the last time in the last five years did that happen in barbados when was the last time you heard any checking of government expenditure inside the parliament so if it doesn't happen inside the parliament, what are we going to do? We are going to create our roadside parliament and we are going to check the government expenditure on the roadside because this is our country. The parliament makes sure that the decisions made are legal, they're fair, non-discriminatory and support equality. Is that what's happening in our parliament? Is that what's happening with our decisions? Are they legal? They're not even following the legal procedures. We've learned that on this program. Are they fair or are they in their best interest? Do those decisions support equality? The opposition what is the opposition? The opposition is the largest non-government.
different party or coalition parties in the parliament after an election. And that's us. Twice the government voted in the people because there's no way that this, this government is going to continue to be run without any opposition. So we are the opposition, right? The leader of the opposition appoints members of the opposition to a shadow ministry. So we need to begin to decide what ministry we're going to shadow. The shadow ministry's role, whose, whose role is to shadow the relevant minister by scrutinizing their actions, questioning government policies, and the administration of particular portfolio, portfolios. The opposition is considered the alternative government and is responsible for creating alternative policies for this country. That is what we are going to do. So let me hear the shadow ministries. Let me see the thumbs up, the opposition. We are going to form those shadow ministries and we're going to protect this country. We're going to scrutinize their actions. We're going to question the government policy, policies and the administration of particular portfolios. We will become the alternative government in this country.